Looking for a brand new townhome right here in Davenport? Well, today's model is just that. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and today's episode is sponsored by Nick Long of AmeriFirst Home Mortgages NMLS ID 398963 and guys I am back in Davenport showcasing a beautiful town home it's three bedrooms two and a half bathroom about 1603 square foot now the price of this house is about 335 345 depending upon uh, what kind of upgrades you have but you're all in for less than 350 so let's have a look you have this nice little walkway that leads you to the front gate of your uh, townhome. Now you do have this really nice little canopy up front. Your parking is actually going to be uh, two spaces which is going to be right in front of your or close to your unit up front. So let's go in and check rest of this beautiful model out. Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful model. So I am showcasing this town home, which is about three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 1,603. And guys, if you are looking to buy a home anywhere in Central Florida or Tampa area, this is a great resource. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, press that thumbs up button and show us some love and subscribe to our channel. Now guys, the market is still hot. You know, the prices of home has gone incredibly very high with the rates and everything. This is a good, option the location of this community is excellent you're literally walking distance to a local kindergarten to eighth grade and then you also have a high school a brand new high school just down the road uh, from this community you could literally have your kids walk to it it's a really nice town home and i always say this it's the square footage it's not the square footage, it is how the square footage is kind of laid out. So when I walk in, you're gonna see that the ceiling height over here on this townhome is eight foot eight, and then you have the six four door, which is basically this. Now, everything in this townhome that you see is pretty much all inclusive in the price. They have two or three different packages in terms of what kind of base tiles you're gonna get on the floor, what kind of cabinets you get, but everything that you see is pretty much the, the way I'm showing you. So you have this nice little area, like like a little, you know, uh, uh, semi-private dining area right in front of a nice big window overlooking. So you do get two car spaces allotted with your townhome. And then as I walk over here, this is the actual size of your island. Uh, you do get granite or quartz, so you do have a combination. Now with these townhome, it's going to be all in where these are will be inventory and they'll be like, this is the combination. Like with this specific model, they have this combination of granite along with the tiles and then this is the color cabinets you have as the way you see it with the crown molding the extra lights and you don't have pendle lights over here but you have this which you probably could do that if you want you know so so that is something but it's probably going to be right in the center as you see you have a 60 40 uh, a sink space right there now you do get your um, microwave you also get your range uh, however for the washer dryer and the refrigerator that is something that you wouldn't get uh, but since the market is changing you never know because they are now coming up with incentives where they are paying more closing costs than they had been and guys you know market is still hot there's still a shortage of inventory and i really do not think that the market is crashing or something i do think that the growth is going to slow down because the rates have gone up and if you are sitting on the fence to buy a home i'm going to tell you guys you you want to get that price locked in in most cases it will be another three to six months or nine months uh, before you get the house but you still want to lock in that price because what's going to happen is as the rates are creeping up you're going to end up still paying that uh, because the, the, the value or, or the base prices or the overall prices is still going up. So that is still going to affect you. It may not be going up as it had in the past. So that is just my take on it. And I think with so much uncertainty in the market, we're just going to find out which way it's going to go but that's what i believe uh, i've been doing this for a very long time and this is what i believe i definitely don't see any crash that is going to come i definitely see a slowdown so as you walk you also have this open space this is your family room uh, you know so you have a lot now guys when you look at things like this little woodwork done 
those are pretty easy to do don't get carried away this thing is something you can always do that a front but i like you know how this is kind of separated from your kitchen you have this nice open kitchen you have the dining area and then you have this family living area which is really nice and then you have this over here which is which could be your pantry or you can just use this as a storage space uh, but this is really nice and it's a little bit deeper and as i was actually coming in the house uh, in this town home you actually have this little space now they have the water heater there but this could be used as a little storage space there's not a lot but it definitely could be used but what I really like about this house is that you have this half a bathroom right around the corner which is kind of all the way in the corner it's not in the middle or something so you have now in your bathrooms it's actually going to be um, uh, Sin mica or laminate uh, with the same cabinet now this is something you can upgrade however it really depends if that's what they have in the inventory sheet so there's a lot that's going to depend and as I walk out you also have a small linen closet right over here now this is only 1603 square foot but I do believe that it's been laid out really well and then right around over here you have this is the size of your actual lanai look at this guys and then this is kind of plumbed so if you want to do an outside kitchen that is something you can always do you can always have this uh, screened in later on but look at the size of this this is a really nice size they do have another model here which is a little bit bigger it's almost 2000 square foot it's a little bit more open and that is something you can probably buy about 355 360 so all your bedroom and your laundries are upstairs so let's go upstairs and check the rest of this beautiful model out As I go upstairs, you're gonna notice that your ceiling height over here is about eight foot. And guys, again, things like this are pretty easy to do. If you haven't watched my video on the do's and don'ts of building a brand new home, then go ahead and do that because I not only talk about it, but I also show you where you need to spend the money where you're gonna get the biggest bang. So as I go, you have a little hallway. You have the first uh, secondary bedroom right here. It's not that big, but it's definitely comfortable. You can use this as an office space. And if you have a small family, just you, yourself, and your husband, or your fiance, or your wife, and maybe a kid, or just two of you, then this could be good, because it's not that big, but it could be a good start, because right now with the rents going up, and with the, with the property, you're probably gonna break even in terms of what you'll end up paying for your rent, because what I believe is that, you know, what you'll end up paying for rent, it's probably going to be very similar to what you'll end up buying for yourself in terms of your mortgage expense. And I'm a very big advocate of buying your own place because, you know, when you're renting, you have no benefit, no benefit whatsoever. So one way or the other, I do believe you're going to still be paying a mortgage. The only question is, is that your mortgage or your landlord's mortgage? So that's just a, some food for thought. You also have this double door closet, you know, pretty standard with this kind of homes or with this kind of townhomes. So it's a very standard. Now they do have another community just down the road with the same builder and you actually can get a four bedrooms, um, a two and a half bathroom, about 2,500 square foot for just about $400,000. So make sure to check that also. I'll go ahead and put that in the playlist for you for Davenport because that's another model that I did that could also work. Now, right over here is your laundry space. So as I mentioned, you know, not very big, but it is still comfortable in terms of the town home that you have the laundry right up there. It makes it very convenient. And then you have the other bedroom right here with a nice window bringing in good light. Now, if you are going to use one of the bedrooms as the office, I definitely would suggest that you definitely get extra lights if possible. Uh, because the, what builders are now doing is that they have these inventory homes and they will go out and spec everything out. And in some cases, they'll have upgraded tiles, they'll have some upgraded options built in. And with the price, it could probably work. Now, few things is something that you can always do. Like if you want to change the Senmica or, or the, the laminate in your bathroom to a granite, it's not such a big thing you could probably do it later on it's not that difficult to do that but at least you can get in your place and call something as your own you do have a nice small walk-in closet and i like that you have the door for it instead of those double doors so this is kind of good and then right across from it that's where you have the master bedroom now guys please understand that that you know 
there is a lot of uncertainty in the market there's a lot of things that is going on and and i know there are people that are thinking it's going to crash there are people that are just waiting out i think the time is going to tell but florida is a state where a lot of people are still moving in so i'm still going to tell you florida has always been very hot and recently it's been super hot with so many people moving central florida tampa as a matter of fact i was reading somewhere tampa is considered the number one hottest real estate market in all of us and orlando and central florida is about number five so there's always going to be people moving in because of the weather because of no state income tax so there's there, there are no state tax rather there's a lot of advantage and if you've been thinking about moving then then you do want to make that move now because what you can buy i mean like just about a year or so ago what you could have bought for 300,000 is almost 400 400 is five just some food for thought now as i go in you have the shower tub co a combination with a really nice inlay and this is what i was talking about you have a very simple basic subway tile but this thing kind of pops out and then you have your toilet right there and this is what i was talking about this is something easy to do later on if this is something you don't want to do now and just get what you could afford then that is something that i would highly suggest so I, as i come out you have this little uh, walkway and they have a piece of furniture there so pretty comfortable and then this is your master bedroom and look at the size of this master bedroom you have nice cross molding right there so you have good space right here for your nightstand and then also on that side and you also have a walk-in closet which is not very big but it's pretty comfortable you know for a 1600 square foot a 1603 square foot townhome it, it's laid really well so as I come out, you actually have a small closet space or a linen space or a towel closet or whatever you want to call right over here. And then you have the master bathroom. Now with this builder, they actually have this um, uh, rain shower as a standard feature with the same tiles inlaid over here basic time but this is a basic standard feature now if you want to know hey what do i get for my base price uh, what is it included or what do i get for this what kind of upgrades make sure to let me know because they have two or three different packages that you can choose from so it's not a very big bathroom but it's still very comfortable something to start and then you have a single sink uh, vanity over here um, let me know what your thoughts are on this specific model. The other model that I did was almost close to 2000. I think it's 1900 and something. And it's a pretty nice model. It's very similar to this, but it's a little bit more open. And because you're getting another 300 square foot more, so the rooms are a little bit bigger. Your great room is a little bigger. Well, let me know your thoughts on this. And if you are looking to buy a home anywhere in Central Florida, this is a great resource. Show us some love. Press the thumbs up button and give us a call. Our services to you is absolutely free. We are here to help and serve you to guide you through the process because the market is still challenging but I do see that it's going to hopefully slowly work a little bit better because it's been for almost two years now it's been a seller's market they've been pretty much got away with whatever they want and it's going to change but it's not going to change overnight and I definitely don't think it's going to crash until the next home video thank you for watching and bye for now